Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. We are live on location in Lawrence Tavern. Good morning, guys. Guys, as you come on, just share, share, share. Let persons know that we're on. We are coming to you live from Lawrence Tavern on our outreach ministry today. As you join us, as you join us, As you join us, guys, please share, please share, please share, please share. Amen. So how y'all doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning. Tanya, Lisa, morning. Yeah, guys, so as you come on, just share. Let somebody know that we're on. Let somebody know that we're on. Yes, guys, we're in country. <laughs> morning. All right. I am sweating. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. Morning, guys. Morning, morning. As you come on, just share. Today, we're coming to you live from um the community um in lawrence tavern where we are doing our outreach ministry and i want come on guys share as we come on share 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 listen we have been up from five and we are out blessings to you blessings to you man of god Blessings to you, blessings to you. So let me show you a bit of what is happening. Awesome. So yes, we are maintaining the social distance. It probably just looks like persons are close based on my, my outlook from the camera. And persons are indeed wearing their mask. All right. So asking you guys to just share as you come along. Yeah, persons are collecting their food bags. They're collecting their care packages. They're collecting their chicken. They're collecting their clothing. Amen. 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 Ah. Amen. Listen, I am so tired. The drive from where we came from to here was no chicken journey. <laughs> was it was worth it, guys? So, listen, I am sweated. I was tired. So this morning we really want to thank persons who came who, who you know reached out to us and persons that you know donated persons that you know reached out you know wanting to be a part of what we're doing wanting to, wanting to be a blessing just want to tell persons thank you you know we we did not get to meet the actual quota that we wanted but we got pretty close pretty pretty close and we just really want to tell persons thank you you know it's indeed a privilege to you know be able to bless lives and to be a morning Suzette how are you hoping to come that side soon hoping to come that side soon yeah it's indeed a blessing you know to be able to you know be a blessing to families you know to show them that God cares and you know it is not just about us and, and how we feel as Christians but we really care about them 
you know, we really care about persons' needs being met and all of that. So yeah, we are here this morning, guys, and you know, when, when we came here, persons were already waiting for us, you know, which shows, it, it says a lot, you know, so we're hoping that we're able to, you know, be a blessing to almost everybody that comes today, you know, I'm just going to turn the camera a bit for you to see some of what is happening. Yeah, so as you can see, we're giving out the food bags. Persons are going through the clothing items. Some persons are still on the outside because you can't let in everybody one time. So we're letting in batches of threes to go through the clothing section. And then persons are collecting their food bags. Then they come down and collect the care packages. Then when they're going out, they get the chicken and all of that. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's really a blessing to see, you know, all of this taking place. And to know... Nicholas Hutchinson, man of God, we miss you on this one. <laughs> we miss you on this trip. You don't listen, don't miss anymore. <laughs> yeah. We, we have to kind of, you know, do it on our own in a little way. But we miss you on this one. Kingdom Connect, we miss you on this trip. Yeah, so it's really a blessing, guys. And, you know, I really want to say thanks again. Mm -hmm. Sponsors, you know, thanks again to the persons that you know donated, to the persons that you know reached out, and even for the persons that just prayed. We just want to give you guys, you know, want to tell you guys thanks for, yeah, we just want to tell you guys thanks for all the work that you're doing. And listen, it's it's really awesome to see what God is doing, guys. If if if, if you guys can see on the outside how many persons are gathered out there just waiting to come in the amount of children that is out there yeah a lot of people gathered today and i'm hoping that we have enough you know to, to go around i'm praying that we have enough that can bless every household that is present here today you know so just gonna so just going to allow persons to see a bit of what is happening before I turn the camera again and speak to y'all some more. I see Samik online. Bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. So just allowing you guys to see some of what is happening. You know, persons have a lot of persons have reached out to me, especially from overseas. You know, saying that as soon as they come to Jamaica, they, they want to come on the trip with us because they, you know, they really love what is happening and they want to be a part of it. And so, one of the reasons for the live is for you know, it's for our, our you know persons to see some of what we do that really want to be a part of it. Amen. Guys, I'm encouraging you to share the live. Share, share, share. Just allowing the camera to stay in that direction for a little while. So you guys can see what's happening. Bless you, bless you all for coming on. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Guys, let me tell you something. There's, you know, this, I don't know if, if I want to call it peace, but, you know, there's just, just something special, you know, when you see the hand of God you know, just bless lives and, you know, carry out such a great work. You know, there's just something that keeps you going when you realize how many lives are being blessed as a result of you just being obedient to God and, and carrying out, you know, the mandate, carrying out something that he has instructed you to do. 
you know and i really want you guys to you know be a part of this you know one of the one of the hope is that you know a lot of persons will catch the vision one of the hope is that a lot of persons will see what's happening and really reach out to us you know to be a blessing Yes, guys, sorry about that. Yeah, so you know, one of the, one of the, one of the, the prayer is that in you know, the persons will really see and catch the vision of what we're doing and really come on board. One of the things that the Lord said to me is that with this ministry, what He is doing is practical gospel. What He is doing, you know, is practical gospel and that he wants us to take you know the gospel he wants us to take the gospel out of the four walls you know and and and, and go into all the world a lot of person might just look at something like this and think that you know it's just giving out food and it's just giving out clothes and giving out a care but no it's way more than that we're evangelizing we are evangelizing and it's at another level. We are evangelizing at another level. I I wish I don't even know how to use the zoom, but if you guys could see outside of the gate where we are, you would understand what I am talking about. Persons are gathered like crazy out there. I remember when the Lord said Lawrence Tavern and he gave an instruction about what it is that he wanted us to take here and what it is that he wanted to do. And I was saying to myself, you know, how is it that we're going to do this? How are we going to be able to carry out all of what he requested? You know, and it's really, it's, it, it, you know, it was really a, a challenge getting to this. It was really a challenge putting all of this together. And I know sometimes persons might see us posting flyers and see us posting, you know, stuff on our pages asking persons to sponsor, donate or contribute and get tired of it. But the truth is, you know, we have our work to do, right? And if that's the way in which, you know, we carry out the work, then we are going to do it. So I'm just going to allow you guys to see a bit of what is happening so that you guys can get a, a glimpse of that um Johnny. morning
So we're encouraging persons to share the live as you come on. We are live in Lawrence Tavern. We are at the Mount Faith. Listen, we're live in Lawrence Tavern. Bless you. Guys, there are a lot of persons outside. A lot of persons outside. I'm wondering. So I'm back. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, share the live and tell somebody that we are on. Right? So we're live in Lawrence Tavern this morning. We are here, you know, doing our outreach ministry, giving back food, clothing, um, care packages, and, you know, stuff for kids and stuff like that. You know, having conversations with some of the persons up here, you know, they're making requests, you know, for some household items and all of that. Um, somebody asked me just now, you know, about mattress um, for her kids. She said she needed two mattress for her kids. So if there's anybody out there that can donate two mattress, she said she didn't want the base, just mattress, um, you can reach out to me, you can call, you can message, and I'll tell you the size mattress we'll make the, the, the necessary um, preparations to get it to her gonna take her contact information so that we can do that so guys i mean the need is great out there i mean we, we're not jesus christ we can't save everybody we can't do everything and that's just the truth <laughs> we'll never be able to do all of that but you know where where we have been commissioned and where we can you know fill a gap where we can be a blessing that is what we want to do and that is our aim you know in being obedient to the call of god especially for something like this i was talking about it yesterday i was good morning sasha k melbourne blessings to you i was talking about it yesterday i was saying that you know when i started out you know doing ministry at least I didn't even understand what God was calling me into until I, I got, you know, the understanding that ministry has to do with people. It's really people, people that you're dealing with, you know, and you have to be at a place where you're able to, to, to deal with people and love from a pure place where you're even delivered from the spirit of offense. And so, guys, when I started out, I had no idea what God was calling me into. I thought it was like a simple conference. And then I hear the Lord say prison ministry. And I was prepared to do that. That would have been a bit easier. Because guess what? I was already in prison. I know a little bit about the prison system. And I can function like that because I know about that. Right? And then I saw where God started to, you know, cause me to branch out into, you know, just giving persons clothes. Just giving persons clothes. Giving out shoes and all of that. Until I realized that last year the Lord said to me that he wanted He wanted Sorry about that last year the Lord said that he wanted me to do a food drive Early up last year and so when I did the food drive I thought it was a one-time thing 
I thought it was a one time thing. I didn't think that it would have been something. I didn't think that it would have been something that I we would have continued. I, I didn't know. And I was scared to do it as well. I was scared to come on and ask people for support. I was not I was it wasn't something that I really wanted to do. And let me tell you, I was not in the best of positions either. Right? Mentally, I had a lot going on. I was I, I didn't want to do it. I didn't even know what outreach meant. But it just took a level of obedience. And I remember when I went to St. Thomas and I saw what I saw, you know, with persons going through the garbage bin, going into different, different communities, hearing the need. And of course, as I said before, we're not Jesus. We'll, we'll never be able to do everything. We'll never be able to bless everybody. But we will be able to do our part based on obedience. We'll be able to carry out the mission. We'll be able to do our part. You know, and so guys, we are encouraging persons to join the mission. We're encouraging persons to be a part of the vision. We are encouraging persons to do their part. Listen, if you find yourself with extra groceries, if you find yourself with extra food items, extra clothes that are in good condition, guys, donate it. People are waiting. Guys, people were here this morning before we got here out at the gate waiting for us. They were there persons are lined up at the gate and I am not sure if we will have enough to give everybody. I am hoping that we, we are able to give to most persons. But persons are still lined up at the gate just waiting. Just waiting. And so one of the things I am really encouraging persons to do is to reach out to us. You know, we can't do this alone. We can't. As much as we want to, we can't. And we're going to need your help. We're going to need your assistance in carrying out all that God has for us to do. Right, guys? So, yeah, join the mission. Reach out to us. Share the life. Share what we're doing. Um, we'll, we'll, on, on April month end, we'll be going into another community you know, where we want to bless families again. And so, guys, we're inviting you to join the mission. We Listen, we, we, we don't stop. We keep going. So even though we came here today, the mission continues and it's ongoing. Let me show you guys again what's happening. Uh, about, we, we, we give out, well, about 50 people come and gone already. So let me show you guys what's happening again.
So yes guys, we are in Lawrence Tavern, hoping to be finished by 10. As you come on guys, just share, share the live. I'll sign it before I leave. Oh, okay. yes. Amen. Bless you. guys so i'm going to be out for now so guys thank you for joining us it was a short life just wanted you guys to you know join in with us still have a lot of persons at the gate hoping that we'll be able to bless everybody that came today you know but the vision continues the work is still great um you know there's a lot of persons out there that need help and so guys we're asking you to come on board and support us we're asking you to come on board and you know just be a part of what we're doing you know the need is great and you know as i've often said to persons that be a blessing you know you don't know how much you will change your life by just being a, a blessing something that you think is simple or not even <laughs> worth it somebody it might mean a lot to somebody else right so as i said before persons have come to me this morning asking for assistance with two ladies a lady asked for two mattresses for her children right so if there's anybody out there that is able to bless this lady i think not a small mat i'm not sure but the small mattresses she's asking if somebody can donate two to her so if you're able to you know be a blessing in that regard I'm going to ask you to reach out to us and let us know how you want to help. If you have any household items that can be of use to somebody that is in good condition and you want to donate it, reach out to us, let us know, right? So this is it for us this morning. I'm going to give you about another five minutes to see you know what's happening. But guys, bless you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of this. Love you guys. Bless you. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the live now. 
Thank you guys so much for joining. It was indeed a blessing to have you with us this morning. Remember to share the live and let somebody know, you know, how they can be a part of this. Maybe you can't, but maybe somebody else can be. So just let them know and reach out to us, guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And again, there's a lady that has some children and she's asking for assistance with two mattresses. So if you're able to help, send me a message, DM me, reach out to me, and let's see how best we can help. All right, guys, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.